been bad enough that uh, we don't feel comfortable um, asking our employees to come to work. It is so fun. Well, I don't want to leave home. Still, most tell us they're having a great time. Spring break, it's amazing, all the people, all the music. A lot of measures in place to curb any criminal activity, to tame the crowds, and to encourage people who are here to behave responsibly. If not, the message is clear. You will be arrested. All praises to the Mosai Yahweh. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, a Big Levi, and today is uh, Saturday, March the 20th, 2021. Uh, some brothers are, are celebrating today as the New Year at 2 a.m., uh, on the west coast east coast wherever you are happy new year if you're celebrating uh, uh the, the new year there today or yesterday wherever okay happy new year it's it's pretty good 2021 is finally here okay so um uh, as you can see the video that we uploaded the other uh yesterday uh about old man biden slipping and fell uh and he, he, he uh, on the on the uh staircases of the airplane so now it's it's no coincidence brothers that was all the most high he want us to to see how they going to slip and fall okay so things like that they will happen now brothers uh, with that being said we know for a fact there is a pandemic out there there is uh, this thing going on again this video is n is not about giving information to uh people a uh, medical information no conspiracy theories this is straight facts we are watching this going on live now brothers when you see things like that happen okay those people okay for the sake of this video we'll give the benefit of the doubt we'll call them um, asking our employees to come to work it is so fun well, i don't want to leave home still most tell us they're having a great time Spring break, it's amazing, all the people, all the music. A lot of So, that's what the two-thirds want. That's what most of our people, all the Gentiles, the unyielding ones, that's what they want. They want fun. They don't want to leave. They don't want to lie down. They, will, they want to be rowdy and fight each other and drink and fight. And this is how they refer to them. Okay. Measures in place to curb any criminal okay. activity, to tame the crowd tame you like an animal tame the crowd and then they, they would they, would they show us the crowd our oh, people brethren now when you see one of those guys getting shot down in the street like in a, uh, uh in there like just like that you see those people are getting killed uh, when the plague coming upon them don't feel sorry for them man don't feel sorry for them because they know for a fact something is wrong out there how long it is? Let's check this out. Just showed you President Biden there and his remarks, but we have some news uh, from former President Trump, rather uh, where he lives now at the moment. I'm just going to put this up on the screen. Uh, and we're learning right now that Mar-a-Lago there down in Florida has partially closed after a COVID-19 outbreak. We have some video we want to show you. Too. So there's a outbreak over there in Mar-a-Lago. And he took it very safe, very seriously, brothers. He took it very seriously. Okay? He didn't stand there and act like, oh, oh hey, I'm this, I'm that. Mm -mm. They took it very seriously over there. Two. So right now, Mar-a-Lago, former President Trump's Palm Beach, Florida club has partially closed after a COVID-19 outbreak. The Trump Organization telling Fox News that as a precaution, some of the resort's workers are under quarantine. Because they don't know what, what that is exactly. This is today, the 19th, okay? All right? So, things like that happen, Bridget, all right? So, they, they know for a fact this thing is here, and they know for a fact this thing is going back up, and it's not getting better. It's not getting better, Okay? All right, so we still uh, they just still haven't updated this since March 13th. So it's supposed to be update, updated today, March 20th, because they do it every seven days. 
okay so they used to be a daily thing so right now it's uh it's still stuck at 492 okay it was at three or uh, four uh it, it dropped at 356 now at 492 okay almost eight thousand uh, almost five it need like on like eight thousand to be five hundred thousand half a million cases okay how good you didn't even drop here if you did drop here brother somewhere around like before march oh boy if you before like before march before our new year okay okay if you did drop somewhere around like fifty thousand cases you know twenty thirteen thousand cases yes okay no you you, you just dropped like three hundred uh three hundred uh, the lowest was three hundred and fifty two three hundred and fifty and then you say this thing is gone and then now it's at four hundred and ninety two thousand it's going up and then uh it, those people as it's going up brothers they don't care okay they don't care they are partying okay and to encourage people who are here to behave responsibly if not the message is clear you will be arrested yeah okay so the crowds will not be able to be here All for right. that long keep in mind there is still a midnight curfew here in miami-dade county as for the clevelander it will be closed until tuesday and at that point then management says they will regroup we're on miami beach i'm janine sandwood local 10 news those crowds not letting up thanks janine okay so that's what those guys Shocking are doing scenes from south beach spring okay. breakers packing. All, all you see most of the people that are around here they look like our people because they don't care they don't care. I don't give a uh, man. I want to party. That's what I want. <laughs> she, that virus is done. Everything is back to normal. Let's party. All right. In the streets, many without masks and no social so. distancing in sight. And the chaotic crowds in recent weeks leading to an iconic South Beach spot to close its doors. Let's go. Uh, I see. See this brother right here. They are partying. And then that, that's all it is, brothers. That's a cousin right there. That's a son. That's a brother. That's a husband right there. Okay. The local ten Janine stand with so live now. That's what but that what's is. being done to keep people safe out there, Janine? Okay, you can see them walking around and partying and things like that. You know. Believe it. This crowd is even smaller than what it was earlier. Okay, we got this brother right here. Yeah. Another night of big party, rammed shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder crowds on Ocean no Drive mass party. with law enforcement watching closely. Extra officers on the street once again following a dangerous incident one night earlier. Yeah. Okay. Police uh, deployed uh, uh, pepper spray after a fight. Brother. <laughs> they left this brother like a kid, man. Oh, man, look at this. One night earlier. They just grabbed this dude. They just <laughs> deployed pepper spray. <laughs> they just left this dude like a little kid, man. I don't know. He looked like Chinese to me. Incident one night earlier. Let me see. They, they just grabbed this dude and then slim it to the ground. Three were detained and treated for injuries. All right. Well, they look Hispanic. Crowds, these large unruly crowds that unfortunately chose to uh start fighting instead of enjoying uh what was really a they like that brothers they like things like that okay so and understand this we now you got around the world brothers you got things like that going on okay increase of hell and stone okay this is in south africa put the volume down Okay, this is in South Africa. Increase of hell and snow. Uh, a hell storm hit South Africa. Mugi River and snow falls on Southeast Spain. Benia de Mariola. Okay? Hell storm, brothers. It's all over. Okay? Number six of the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Increase of hell and snow. This is what the Most I sent uh, 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 to us. Verse of the day. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sin and will heal their land those people are not being humble man nice this evening. is not and being because humble. of safety okay. concerns cops from other so, jurisdictions are here state troopers are being deployed on right. the causeways restaurant at the iconic Clevelander on 10th and Ocean has now closed for the weekend and beyond. We spoke to the lawyer representing the company. So those are, okay. Those we are don't the feel comfortable 
um, asking our employees to come to work. It is so fun. Well, I don't I mean, want to leave. Okay, so those are the women. That's a sister right here. That's a that's a mother. That's a wife. Okay, that's what they do. The party all night, all day. It's fun. Let me have some fun. I don't need to wear any mask or anything like that and stuff. Let me party and stuff. Those are the people, brothers, you see dying in those horrible car accidents. I was watching a video, brother. One sister died with both of her children in a car accident. We already uh, profiled this video. Those are the people that die horrible death. And then when you see things like that, brothers, they, you cannot feel sorry for them. Again, they could be any nation. Those could be a descendant of Hamites, Japhetites, Edomites. They could be any nation. But for the sake of this video, we call them the two-thirds. There will be no mercy for those people, brothers. When you see things happening for those people, don't say, oh, this is Jacob's job or something. Nope. Those people refuse to listen. Leave home. Still, most okay. tell us they're having a great time. Spring break, it's amazing. All the people. All okay. They don't care. They don't care. Let us party and let us be over there and do whatever the hell we want to do. All right. There you go. Watch this. Off the top of six, disturbing video you will only see on Local 10 News. A police officer dragged by other officers out of a famous Coral Gables restaurant. The troubling arrest happening at Hillstone on Miracle Mile. But the cop who was arrested says he did nothing wrong and that his life was nearly destroyed because of what happened. Okay, so now when it's happening to you, you didn't do anything wrong. Your life is nearly destroyed. You need, you, you need judgment. You need retribution. You need justice because it happened to you now. Yeah, no hish. Let's get right to Local 10 News investigator Amy Vettieri with this exclusive tonight. Amy. Well, Calvin and Nicole, we sat down with that officer now just hours away from filing a lawsuit against the city of Coral Gables and the two officers who arrested him. He says he was demoted and his professional reputation severely damaged after he was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest with violence, none of which he says ever happened. What happened to me was, was a crime. It was November of 2018. What happened to you? It's a crime. No hish. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden now you guys are under this curse. Now it's a crime because he's a cap. Let me cut this story short for you. He went to a bar and they stopped serving uh, one of the women that he went in there. And then he started acting up. And then the police officer, they, they called up the police officers. They came in. He's a cop also. They drag his ass out and then they falsify a police report on him. Okay. When Ben Guerrero says two off-duty officers working security at Hillstone Restaurant in Coral Gables yanked him off a bar stool okay, and they, dragged him outside. They, dragged they him. perp walked me through the restaurant again. They didn't give handcuffs. him any warning. A humiliating experience for anyone, yeah, but perhaps you, even more. Oh, uh, yeah, humiliating uh, for anyone. No, sir, you do that to our people all the time. You do this to our people all the time, and now it's humiliating to you. So for Guerrero, a law enforcement officer of almost 40 years, who is deputy chief of FIU's police force, a lawyer and adjunct professor at the university. And okay, this is not on no light weight. This guy is a heavy weight right there. He was a lawyer, a deputy, a chief. And then you did this to him, and he know the law better than those guys, so he's going to sue them now. And this is you here. This is me. Surveillance okay. video showing what happened. Guerrero says his group was having dinner at the bar. They asked to speak with the manager after a bartender cut off one of the women he was with. The bar had a policy that they didn't serve uh, people to the point of intoxication. Everything yeah. seems calm. Then watch as an officer walks up to Guerrero and gestures for him to be quiet. Okay, because that's how those guys are. They are thugs. Okay, they are, they are gangsters and badges. They'll come up to you. They won't even hear what you're saying. They like, shut up. You know, yeah. hey, 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 shut up. <laughs> and then they're going to drag you out of there, handcuff you, and then falsify a police report on you. He puts his finger to his mouth, and then the next thing I know, he's 
literally yeah, assaulting me and throwing me off of a bar stool. Yeah. The police report says the bar manager asked officers to remove Guerrero. That's no one true. ever told me to leave. That's that <laughs> manager gave a recorded statement to police. Look okay, if you're a manager who for anything like that, never do this. Never did a give a uh, record. Uh, never did what that that guy doomed his, his he he doomed his own business by saying the following stuff. Looking into the incident, and here's what he says he told the group. This is the decision that we've made, and we're not going to serve you. But I did not give them any direction um, in terms of needing to close out. You see, you shouldn't say this. That's a win for this guy. It's a win. I did not give him any direction. Nah, you should have. You should have said the quiet opposite. Now nah, this guy got you nailed. Or needing to leave. Police also say Guerrero resisted, striking one of the officers in the that, face that, with an elbow. That's not I never true. struck anybody. That's, that's not that's true. clear on the video. They yeah. lied on the arrest affidavit. They transported me to TGK, to the jail, where they strip searched me and put me in a red jumpsuit, put me in an isolation cell because of the fact that I'm a police officer. There we go. There you go. Humiliating. Nah, sir, this is the most I'm doing this to you. All right, because of Genesis 15. Verse 13, okay? All right, so for those of you who do this every video, uh, because it still stands, and he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for a hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. This is a part of your judgment. And you can see this dude face is the face of dejection, sorrow, which is the first plague over there. Okay, so it happening to them and then now they are crying like a baby. No hitch, man. Okay, so um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the same thing, the same video. And then these uh, things just happen over there, man. Six-year-old is... girl is dead after police say she was shot multiple times over spilled water. Okay, this is what happened. Uh, somebody, this is this is <clears throat> execution by the sword. Okay, you shot. The, I know this won't bring peace to the nation. A six-year-old little girl was shot. You know, my daughter is six. Multiple time over spilled water. All right. This happened at an apartment complex on Shaver Street and Allen Genoa Road. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas is live with the very latest in this investigation. Bill. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no sounds. <laughs> just to hear okay. these things happening, like, especially here. I mean, you always hear stuff happening here, shootings and everything. But a six-year-old, huh. that just, it tugs at my heart, man. I can't, I can't. I feel bad for the mom. I just, over some spilled water. Uh, Makes yeah, no yeah. sense. Make no sense at all. And you heard from neighbors, oh, okay. uh, their residents here at this apartment complex. Uh, now he has sounds. Off of a Schaefer, a Schaefer in Pasadena. Again, uh, police have cleared the scene here just moments ago, but there's still lots of questions surrounding what happened here. Pasadena police saying a six-year-old girl possibly losing her life, actually losing her life, possibly over spilled water. Okay, what what is this? Okay, is, is, did she die or because you guys were six-year-old girl shot and kill over spill rotter what is possibly losing her life great reporting right there you know i don't i don't think i can pass this dude man i it's been a while i've been passing a lot of people but uh, this reporter right here i can't pass him i don't know why but that's that's some fine reporting right there losing her life actually losing her life possibly over spilled water they have again cleared the scene you can see family members have been allowed to go back in to the apartment uh, we saw them cleaning the apartment earlier they are now just gathered outside talking uh, this happened at around 11 30 this morning here in okay. pasadena at an apartment so, complex off now the shaver brothers you see again those are the family members those are the same people that go over there in south beach those are the same people that rebel against the father. Those are the same people that leave the I don't give a lifestyle. They, 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 I don't give a lifestyle. They don't care. And in any little thing, brothers, yeah, that's a kid. I, I'm not quite sure if this story is checked out, but it's just like this is what the Mosai sent us. Those are the people, brother, the Mosai will send this plague upon them. And it's already upon them. A six-year-old girl shot multiple times. 
over some spill water. Those are the people, brethren. Those are the people that, that are like all up in your face. They're on your common board telling you what to do or how to praise the most high. Don't don't sing. Don't do this. Most like it could be one of those people that come upon the loin of the most high. Those are the, those people, man. Uh, again, in the Pasadena area, the details, again, still coming in. But again, what we know right now is that a six-year-old was shot, uh, appears multiple times, or at least multiple shots were fired by a relative after some sort of argument over spilled water. It's yeah, unclear uh, you, what the relationship you, you, you is can, between you that can relative see the and that young girl. Okay, you can see the attitude. You can see the the anger you can see this you can see it. and then look some brothers look at those how those people are behaving they just shot and kill a six-year-old little girl and they just calmly sit there nobody really grieving nobody really like oh my god what happened and so they just calmly sit there look look at look at the expression look at the expression okay they just they just acting like right a, now, that a six year old was shot. Another kid uh, is there multiple times, or at least multiple okay. shots were fired She's by arguing. a relative after some sort of okay. argument over spilled water. It's unclear what the relationship is between that relative and that young girl. Okay. The young girl was rushed to the hospital but died All a right. short time later. Police go. telling us her death was tough on responding officers who attempted to perform CPR. It's also taking a toll on those who live in this complex. As far as the suspect, we're told uh, he actually took off just shortly after the shooting but was there caught just down the road he is currently being interviewed by detectives we will continue asking questions and bringing the very latest again you have to understand the most i let those things happen because of how those people are behaving all right how they are behaving okay so let's take the, this ley line right here Shortly, thank you, Jason. Dangerous and downright scary. That's how some drivers describe Drew Street. It's the corridor that connects US-19 to downtown Clearwater. For years, we've shown you the safety concerns on the main corridor connecting downtown to US-19. But now, after yet another deadly crash this week, many of you turn to ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck. Tonight, she's driving Tampa Bay forward and getting answers about why it's taking so long for transportation leaders to step in. Every day for 13 years, Kenny Thomas has heard the same sound as he cuts hair inside All Pro Cuts Barbershop. Sirens. It's wild. It's very crazy. We've all we've seen cars actually go through this, this building. Memorials are a constant reminder of the danger driving here. We pulled the numbers and found over a five-year stretch, the Department of Highway Safety tallied up more than 1,600 crashes along Drew Street. It can be really nerve-wracking, honestly. Just two days ago, another fatal crash. The photo's hard to look at. Clearwater police say a 19-year-old man in this beige Toyota crossed the center lane Wednesday, smashing head-on into a 78-year-old man in a pickup truck. The teenager died. The other driver is still in the hospital. One of the most dangerous things on this road is just how close the cars get to one another. The lanes are only nine and a half feet wide. That doesn't even meet current FDOT standards. Speeding is another major issue. The no, average speed in that segment where the fatal crash was between Crest and Highland, uh, the average speed, it, it tends to be up around 53 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, well, you know, welcome to Florida. <laughs> Let's move to the next video. Yes, sir. You know the ley line is doing this. Um, all right. So Six people are out of a home in Modesto after a possible cooking fire. Nobody was heard in the fire at a home on Atlantic Drive near Church Lane. Hmm, near Church Lane. No hish, man. So um, this is a fiery conflagration of the city. It's going to happen more and more, brothers, okay? Well, this is in Australia. One of the reasons why I do not like to play Australian news because they will strike my channels, okay? So, um, there is a chemical. I'm just going to read this. Massive chemical inferno rages at Preston's a factory shooting explosive toxic fireballs. So, wow. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's in uh, Australia. Australia usually will set something and then they will, um, you know, stuff. And things like that but uh, let's just uh, play it for the for the most high in sydney southwest has exploded in dramatic and spectacular scenes uh, just with a little mute no, music is too loud sending locals ducking for cover and blanketing entire suburbs in toxic smoke mm -hmm. it took 150 firefighters most of the day to get it under control all while dodging constant giant eruptions just before five 
Look at and ooh. blasts blue. Man, let, let's look at this again. That's beautiful. Just before five. Ooh, look at this. The burial. Oh, you know, she's that's her dress right there. She's doing that Marilyn Monroe stuff. Man, the, woo! And blasts blue residents at Preston's out of bed. And it keeps like exploding and all these big gashes come up. And you don't know what's in there. Oh, whoa. Whoa. whoa! A factory only meters from home. Damn! Ignited. Look at this! It's like exploding and all these big gashes come up. And you don't know what's in there. Oh, see? Whoa. Watch, just watch, watch. only meters from homes ignited. Damn. Oh. They just kept on exploding like I just kept hearing big bangs. It manufactured oils and solvents fueling an intense blaze that buckled steel and brought down walls. Damn. LPG tanks and tens of thousands of litres of ethanol wow. to make hand sanitizer also went up. Oh. Flames flowing. <laughs> to make hand sanitizer. This is the most I man. The Mosa is just messing up everything that they have. It's just messing up everything that they did. They tried to do to combat this thing. Anyway, let's move to the ley line again. We're done with this. All right. Again, that was uh, number two, uh, fiery conflagration of the cities. Okay. Uh, this is M track. Okay, brothers. You know all the train track on top of ley line. All right. Okay. Watch this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to hit it. Oh, my God. See that? All right. This is another train hitting cars in the rail again. Those things are happening so often. Okay. Look at oh this. Oh my god, it's going to hit it. Oh my god. Hit it. Boom. Hitting the truck. A utility truck. You know? Boom. Wow. Horrible. Well, it's all of the most I mean. Developing right now at noon, a tragedy after a fire breaks out at a home in Miami early this morning. An elderly man was killed. A firefighter also treated on scene. Let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia. She's live with the very latest on this fatal fire, and I understand a, a, a firefighter was also injured in this one. And Miami Fire is confirming the man was inside the house when the fire started. Now, family and mm. friends who've been here throughout the morning have been telling us who this man was, but police have not confirmed it just yet. Now, this is the house behind me right here. Okay, so uh, you see this a lot. Plantation, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. A lot of people are dying in the house, caught, you know, in fire. So this is, this is very interesting. I, is that thing recording? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, this is very interesting. Normally, I would not uh, play this, but this was very interesting to me. Watch this. In a blatant beach right now after a shocking discovery there. A U.S. military drone washed ashore there today. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live on the scene with the breaking details of very unusual sighting, Andrew. Unusual indeed. Unusual indeed. This is a military drone. Those drones, they use them as, uh, well, that's what they say. They say they use them as practice, uh, target practice. So they will fly them. They cost $3 million, brothers. <laughs> this is a $3 million drone they use as a practice ta uh, 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 target to shoot $5 million missile at them. This is, wow. This, this is like weird. And this one fell. And they say, oh, it was hit. This thing wasn't hit. It was, it's not, they, they try, look, look what they're trying to say. Yeah, unusual and also a little bit intimidating. You're walking out on the beach on this beautiful day and you come across this bad boy right here just washed up on the beach. Everybody see, was pretty shocked. Thing, Some it, though getting a okay. really strong warning as authorities just started moving in. I want you to take a listen. All right. This dude thought it was a missile. Say there's a bomb in there they thought it was a bomb okay so look at this this is that's an officer there yelling there's a bomb on the beach there's a bomb on the beach move back so this doesn't look like something they shoot down it looks like it fell off the sky and they say oh this is where we shot it and stuff nope it, it's fell off the sky no, oh, turns out this is a giant military device that washed up on shore no word uh, a word starts spreading rather really Jeez. quickly here in the area of Boynton It took Beach. over the 10 men to pull this thing out, plus, plus uh, one of those ATVs. All keeping ATV. people back 
while they work to secure and identify the device, which we know it's got fuel in it. It's got other devices attached exactly. to it. Exactly. So now that thing has fuel and other device attached to it. If you blow it with the missile, it should have been exploded, but yet it just fell off the sky. And locals, they saw this thing from a mile away. So I'm coming down from the car and then he comes running back up and he's like, hey, there's a bomb on the beach or a missile on the beach. I was like, what do you mean? It's like, there's no one even around here. So come walking down and all of a sudden some people stop us and I'm like, hey, look, at there's a missile right over there and they're blocking it off. So we start, how can we get close to get some pictures and see what this really is? So it turns out after some investigating police determined that this is an Air Force training drone, the Air Force. Okay, Air Force training drone. Look at what that thing said. It says USAF aerial target all right live munitions civilians leave and place contact you uh usff uh channel 16 or call this number government and found maintain positive control so that thing has live munition in it that mean like <laughs> this thing uh, let me see let me see let me see define live munition According to the Free Dictionary, 1. Projectiles, such as bullets and shot, together with their fuses and primers, that can be fired from guns or otherwise propelled. 2. Nuclear, biological, chemical, or explosive materials, such as rockets or grenades, that are used as weapons. Okay, this thing has a live weapon in it. Okay, most likely, I would say some type of uh, um, explosive things. Okay, because when they hit it, it's supposed to explode. Okay, but... This thing, they, it just, they, it just fell off the sky, and then they were trying to say, "Oh, they, they hit it." AF aerial you know. target, and it seems to have some damage to the back, which oh. appears where it was shot down. Officials no. cleared it though, and no. said it is now safe to allow people in the area again. No, that's not what happened. It fell off the the sky. The ley line switch. It fell off the sky, and then it fell on the tail, and then it got injured. If you shoot that thing in the back right there, boom, the whole thing will explode yeah whatever man I, I thought that was like pretty um it happened in boyton beach which is like <laughs> which is in well you know close to west palm beach if it's not west palm you know it's very close to me man it's just a bunch of those things are happening very close to me don't know why but anyway now breaking news on news channel 8 Tonight, a bizarre hit-and-run crash involving two people in a horse-drawn carriage. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. That crash happened in Pasco County in the community of Shady Hills. It's a little bit of a bizarre crime. Pasco Fire Rescue tells okay. us two people who were in the carriage are listed as trauma alerts, and the horse is severely injured. This is a live look tonight. Florida Highway Patrol is on the scene. No word on any suspects or the vehicle involved. We are going to continue <laughs> I'm to follow this. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, my God. What must be a massive scumbag? I'm so sorry, man. It's just... Not only it's always Florida. It's just like... Okay, wh what? Two people in a horse carriage. Who does that now? Who does this in Florida? Even if you're in a rural area, brothers, I will never advise somebody to walk, to uh, ride your horse in, a, in Florida. Nowhere in Florida. And those people got hit and the horse is critically hurt because of the ley line. They can show you, let me see uh, um, where they put the map. Okay, see? Bowman and um, rabbit, rabbit farm. So those are cross ley line, you know, all go off, all those highway, freeway on top of ley line. So it's, it's just bizarre things is happening. That's what those guys, that's like, this is a bizarre. How, how did you hate, you hate, how are you going to explain this to, uh, to the insurance company? Yeah, yeah, how can I help you say, yeah, I hate uh, three people, actually two, but another being. Uh, you hit two people in a car? No, I hit them while they were on the horses. <laughs> All right. How are you going to explain this? Like, how does that make any sense? Like, you hit people while they were riding in the chariot. And the, whatever, man. This is just a Florida. I mean, take the cake, man. You know. Anyway, so this is pretty much the same thing. News. Chopper 2 live over a bad accident involving a semi and at least two other cars on I-55 in Romeoville. Two southbound lanes are blocked at Joliet Road. No word yet on the extent of any injuries, but... But as you can see, slow going, there is a big backup. Okay, so 
yeah things like that are happening and then this is plague number exactly uh, destruction by earthquake number five this happened over there in algeria okay so <laughs> this is again brothers i see those guys i see the i'm very uh, uh, quite familiar with this channel it's just like you really don't want to those guys they work really hard you really don't want to go ahead and copy all their stuff okay you just like you know you know you, This is the most uh, shaking the entire earth. Dabu 7 have something going on with Iceland, uh, the volcanoes and stuff, brothers. It's very bad, okay? All right. Okay, so this is all the rocks, you know, the, the earthquake happened. All these things, man. The Musa is not playing. All over the world, brethren. All over the world, okay? all over the world and it's only going to get worse uh get ready for these uh upcoming days and stuff you will receive some very unusual <coughs> news excuse me i got this beat that i'm working on it's pretty much the same okay yeah From Jacob's trouble. That's why in this song I give him more praise. <laughs> Brothers, lately I've been very happy for the most high, you know. I want to sing all the time like David for the most high. I mean, I've been very, very happy, man. Ever since the new year kicks in. I gain an extreme amount of strength. Okay. I've been I've been doing a bunch of stuff with my strength. You know, so the most I bless me, bless the family. Thank you for all the nation uh, th th that supported us. The treasure chest, the books. We have one book here. Oh, I have one book here called The Hunting Peoples by Carlton S. Kuhn. Okay. All right. So uh, if you can get The Hunting People by the Car oh, Let me see if I can do this. The Hunting People by Carlton S. Kuhn. According to Google Books, 10,000 years ago all men were hunters and gatherers. Okay, Their so, prey supplied food, shelter, and clothing. Okay, so this book, yeah, it says a lot, brothers. There's a lot in this book. Uh, good read, uh, Google Good Read. So if you can get this book, go ahead and get it. Uh, I just uh, received it today. Um, uh, uh, let's see how much it costs and thrift store okay yeah well they're already out of stock so yeah uh it's out of stock so because you probably oh hey the hunting people it's 11 dollars. if you can get it here it's like 12 bucks on uh, um th uh, uh three stores okay okay get get the all the uh, s carlton books get them get them they, they're like two twenty five hundred dollars 
on uh, um well the autobiography you really don't want to get that uh they are they are 20 22 23 hundred dollars on uh, um amazon but over here they're like 11 10 dollars okay this one is pretty expensive the races of europe you'll see what they are hiding in this brothers okay um origin of race okay they are pretty expensive a ratio all those he he technically this dude when those people thought everything was about them they 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 give all they didn't hold back see origin of races is um like unavailable so um also this one is 92 dollars the races of europe if you w wish you can buy it. try to get all the book that this dude has culture wars and global villages origin of races because in the book that i'm reading they mention this dude a lot okay all right so a north africa story the anthropologies okay caravan the story of the middle east okay those are very important books that this dude would he's a highly respected researcher okay and then things like that you know um the the, the races of europe is uh is very expensive on amazon i don't want to go to my amazon pages and stuff because i got things in there i don't want people to see so you can uh you can go ahead and check it they are quite expensive okay uh if you can get that all right thank you brothers and sisters thank you for watching all praises to the most high yahweh the heavenly father in the name of the holy spirit the earthly mother sanctifying yahweh shai the holy son shalom may the king reign forever